Hello and welcome to day two of recruiting management uh, product training. Um, there's a couple of things on the agenda for this slide deck. Um, we'll just quickly take a look at them. Um, so we'll look at the career sites, internal, extend, and external. Um, we'll look at the different things that are customizable. Uh, second part of the training then will be focused on the candidate profile. So we will look at the uh, candidate profile in the UI first. We'll take a look at all the different fields in a little bit more detail. And uh, in the training slides, which are called day three, um, that's where we look at the XML uh, of the cancer profile templates. But um, yeah, so today will be mainly a lot of uh, focus on the UI. We're going to begin by taking a look at the recruiting career sites. Um, so firstly, there are three main types of career sites. Uh, the most common will be external. So this is a, a website that's available on the internet. Uh, it's external, meaning that people from outside the organization uh, can create candidate profiles and can, uh, can apply for jobs. Um, in contrast to that, then we have the internal career site. So these, this is a career site which is hosted inside uh, a network. So for example, it's for internal employees. So you can only access um, that career site if you're an employee of the organization and you're inside their network. Uh, for example, you may need a, a single sign-on um, to access that site. And the third type then is a microsite. Uh, these are used to create unique brands within an organization with custom designs and layout. Um, so an example of a microsite might be, um, let's say SAP is the main brand or the main site, but inside SAP, you may have uh, microsites for each, uh, maybe subsidiary of the company or department of the company like that, different products. So an example there might be success factors as a microsite or Ariba, something like that. Um, in the admin center, then we have uh, a feature called manage recruiting sites, and this is where a lot of the customization can take place. Um, so let's just ha have a look at another slide before we access the demo. Um, each career site must have a default language, and in order to have a language available on a career site, uh, it must first be enabled in manage recruiting languages. So you'll see an example here of English UK or English US. Uh, in manager creating languages in admin center, it must be enabled there. Otherwise, you will not see that available language uh, displayed in the language dropdown. Um, the landing page of the career site can be configured to display custom text and images. So when we take a look at my sales demo career site, we're going to see uh, some different pictures, some different images, uh, lots of different font stylings, different colors, things like that. And this is all customizable through uh, manage recruiting sites. So let's take a look at the demo now. So again, uh, we're in the sales demo here. We're in our instance of the product. Um, again, at the moment, I'm using a user called Anya Singh. Uh, Anya Singh is the admin of this instance. So she has access to all the kind of settings. Um, so if we have a quick look, we can see that there's three, three sites here, which we mentioned internal. Uh, default is your external site and then a, a new brand, which is it's a, a microsite of the external site. So if we just open up the default site, we can take a look at how to configure and customize some of the different things on the external career site. Um, so firstly, you can see that there's the name of the site and a description of the site. You can see here that we also have a default language is English US and we have a checkbox then that we must set that as the default language. Um, okay, so we have a site landing page. So here we have some text saying this is the external career site. Please notice the link. So yeah, first of all, it's a publicly available link. It's not uh, within any, it's not, it's not in with, uh, sorry, the link is up here, excuse me. Let me change this. Uh, the link isn't hosted within a network. It's publicly available on the internet. So anybody you send this link to should be able to access um, the career site for this company. Here it is, uh, it loaded there in English debug. So let me change this to English UK. So now we're seeing a lot of that customization I was talking about. So this is this exact text that we're seeing here and the image, we're seeing that coming from uh, manage uh, career sites. So here we have that image. We can remove it, we can change it. We can place a hyperlink behind it like we did here with the Facebook. Or in here, you'll just see some of the, this is a custom text that I've added. So what I'm trying to show you here is um, is that this is just a text editor. It does support HTML. So you can see a source code here. 
uh, you can use the HTML to add some extra styling or maybe you want to design something with lots of different tables and rows and um, something like that. So again, what I'm just trying to show you here is that you can use a text editor here using the bold, italics and the different colorings here, different font colors to customize some of the text. So this is what it looks like and uh, that's where the settings are coming from. So you'll see all these bold colors here. That setting is coming from this text editor within Manager Recruiting Sites. We also have some things here called signed in homepage overall description. So where I am now at the moment is that's just the homepage, but you can see I'm not actually signed in. So if we go ahead and sign in, uh, we're going to see some different headers across the top of the screen here. We're also going to see some different text. So I'll go ahead and press sign in and let's take a look. Okay, so I have signed in um, to the career site. You can see here that I have a test candidate, which is called SAP Test Training January. Um, now that we're signed in, we start to see some different headers across the top. So job search, job management, password management, and my candidate profile. We also see some of the headers here across the top. And I want to show you that you can also customize the exact text that's here. So if we look at here, you have a, an overall description, job search description, manage job descriptions, things like that. So we can add some extra text. Um, again, you have some, some job filters here that you can add. You can predefine them so that they're already selected. And then you've got add logo. So if we open up this URL, just in another browser window, we'll see that here is the best run, that's the name of our company. That is their company logo. So in order to have that displayed on the um, website, on the external career site, that needs to be hosted on our on our servers. So um, the customers would need to open a support ticket with the support team. They provided the image and we would upload this to our servers and then it can be, uh, it's hosted there and then it will be displayed correctly on the career site. Okay, let's just navigate back to the slides for a second. So we've discussed some of this already. Uh, we saw the landing page, we saw the signed in landing page is slightly different, meaning these tabs here, job search, job management, etc. And also then we have what we mentioned about then the logo. Um, so we'll also notice the, the candidates can use the job search to find current requisitions which are posted. Candidates can open the job recs to view the details of the vacancy and submit their application. So let's just take a look at that. So again, we are on the career site. Let's click on job search. And we should begin to see some filters here on the left hand side. So uh, let's take an example of a job country. Let's put in the United States um, job function. Let's see what's there. Put in procurement. Okay, no jobs in procurement. So we'll just do admin. 16 jobs in admin. Okay. So there are 16 jobs in the United States with that category of admin. And here we have a uh, digital expert. So let's take a look at some of these. This one is called digital expert. And on this page, then we should see a description of the job and some details as well as the competencies or what are the requirements. So here we see there's a education requirement of a master's degree in business or computer science. So again, if the candidate who signed in here, so SAP tests, if they're a suitable candidate and they want to apply, they'll click on the apply button and they will complete a short application form and then submit their application. Um, so that is the job search. Um, again, these job filters that we're seeing here, they're defined in the job requisition template and as well as in internal and external search settings and provisioning. So that's something that will be covered again in another training uh, regarding the job requisition. Um, so that is the end of this first video on the career sites as part of day two.